Um, wishbones and uh, uprights. Painted. Ready to go. Um, I've epoxy masticked these. Um, the one to one stuff in aluminium. Uh, this is not the aluminium finish. It's really dull, very kind of dark grey. Not very nice. Uh, works very well, but I would recommend just going for black if you're going to get them. Um, I've been painting them because the, the aluminium colour is not nice. These, however, have been hammerited with two layers of silver hammerite smooth on top of the brush painted epoxy mastic. Um, they are not going to chip or rust anytime soon. Um, I guess the hammerite might flake off, but even if it did, it'll have epoxy mask on the underside, which is fine. Um, as you see, it's got a bit of a brush finish on it. Uh, not amazing, but then again, I really can't care. It's going to be sitting in places which are going to get covered in mud and crap and stuff, so I'll much prefer it to be really thickly painted with nice stuff. Um, so that's good. Uh, the wishbones, on the other hand, are pretty nice looking. They, they're nice and shiny. All painted, ready to go. Uh, the hammerite does take a longer to dry fully on the epoxy mastic. Um, it takes about two days to fully cure and set. Those ones up there took the same amount of time. And I tested them with a hammer and smacked one. Um, just to see if it will chip. And it didn't do anything. Um, so I doubt stone chips are going to do anything either. So I'd, I'd highly advise this combination if you're doing it. But again, I'll have to see over the long run and see how it all changes. Uh, how kind of running it affects it. Right, on to the messy workbench, which is absolutely covered in stuff um, and rubbish. Right, onto the rear discs. These are Granada Cosworth Stroke Scorpio 40, no, 4 bolt, 4 stud, um, 7, 300, no, oh my god, I can't, my numbers there are horrendous, I do apologise. Uh, 273 mil vented rear discs. Um, they are overkill, complete overkill, um, which means my front calipers, which are the standard Sierra calipers, which fit a 240mm disc, are completely useless um, because the back's going to be over breaking. What I've decided to do is I've decided to go for Ford Focus RS uh, disc brakes, Ford Focus RS Brembo calipers on the front. Um, you need an adapter bracket and a couple of little spacers, and they fit straight on. Um, that's what I'm going to be using. Also, parts, because I know part means you can get hold of those spare parts nice and easily and they're still all in the stock. Um, which means, if anyone wants a set, as you can see here, let's give the light, a set of nicely refurbished calipers. Uh, these have done about 200 miles since new. And as you can see from the inside, um, you can see that they've got pretty much brand new pads in them. Uh, Absolutely lovely, refurbished, all work, new bolts, new everything, happy days. If you want a set of these, or these two, there's two of them in total, give me a shout and we can work out a price. I don't want much room, um, anything really, just offer me something and we'll take it from there. Um, but they are up for offers if anyone wants them because they're not useful to me anymore. Um, as you can see here, whoa, everything's falling over. Front uprights, yet again, refurbished. Uh, they've had new bearings put on them, uh, and they work just okay. They've got the mushrooms in already. Uh, I don't know who refer who painted them or refurbished them, but they have been done. They're like silky, silky smooth, so that's lovely. Right, um, that is pretty much it for the drivetrain parts. Um, the, oh yeah, this is the rear. You can see here they, it's been cut off, so I'm gonna have to get a new set of drive shafts to the rear. Um, that should be fairly interesting considering. I think I'm going to do the custom size thing using the Granada box, which is slightly wider. I don't know, I'll have to whack it on and see how they actually fit. Um, yeah, as you can see here as well, uh, the gear stick fits in a lovely position. Um, I actually want to cut it down to about here and then have that as a gear stick by itself. So, yeah, that's not important <laughs> in the big scheme of things. Um, my bushes shall be arriving from Saturn Motorsports, uh, sorry, Saturn Sports Car on 
Tuesday, I believe. Um, ordered the nice red ones to fix everything else. I'm having it all red. You see, I'm having red calipers, red bushes, red pipework, red engine covers and stuff, uh, red seat uh, trim, red dashboard trim, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's going to be rather nice as and when it gets done. Um, also, the interior is going to be sent off to um, my lo a local company around where I live, which you might have heard of, called Sunseeker. I have a friend there who works with the upholstery stuff. So with any luck soon, I'll be able to start following up and getting parts upholstered in black and red trim. Um, but yet again, that's miles off. Uh, yes, engine location again. Um, because we're using the RB26DETT inlet plenum without the froth bodies, um, it fits. <laughs> Just. Um, this is going to be cut off here. And I'm going to be having the front body brought around slightly in a kind of curve so it comes down this way a bit more. Uh, no, it's pointing down, which is kind of impractical for me. Also, I have a dump valve. Yes, a dump valve, I know. But I need to have one installed, because otherwise it's going to blow up. Uh, I've got a nice Apexy one somewhere. Um, so that will be going there. Yet again, it's red. <laughs> um, but as you can see here, the uh, let's go from the other side actually. Yeah, let's go from this side. Right, we've got the sucking of the um, turbo, sucking in the air through that hole, as you probably know from turbos, which then gets compressed by the exhaust, which comes up out of here, which is actually really, really, really convenient for me because it means I can bring a pipe going straight across here. Right, uh, let me grab this a second, give you an idea. This is the standard uh, non-GTR intercooler from a Skyline. Um, this is just for temporary purposes. Imagine something along the lines of this. Um, I wouldn't be using this because it's not big enough and it just looks gay and the pipe's in the wrong place. So, you have the uh, tower pipe coming from that edge over there across into that, for instance, which is wrong, but you get the idea. Through the intercooler, out this side, into the dump valve, or into the valve tube, into the throttle body, into the panel. I cannot think of a more simpler way of doing this. I mean, that is just perfect. I mean, it's right there. This will sit at an angle roughly like that, uh, a bit further down, with a cowling coming off the back of it, up past the engine, and up straight out the nose cone at the top. Uh, this will allow the intercooler to basically vent the air fast and have its own air, individual air intake from the nose cone so that's all going to be separated from the radiator. The radiator will sit down here separately at an angle like that um, with a scoop in it as well which brings the air straight up after the radiator into the front of the engine bay and out the back. Uh, this should hopefully separate the engine bay heat from the intercooler um, and give maximum performance don't know if it will or not, but it should be fun nonetheless. Right, uh, that's pretty much it really. I mean, not much I'll say. I mean, there's not much really going on yet apart from the engine being put in. Um, I'm going to start working on the scuttle at some point. I need to make a pipe bender and get some tube and stuff to start doing the scuttle. Um, because I've stretched the engine bay, the standard scuttle won't fit off number one. It's about a centimetre and a half wider at this point than it is on the other one's hiccup, sorry. So it needs to be custom scuttle, and bonnet, and nose cone. Uh, but that's expected because the whole thing's stretched. Also the standard sky, uh, side panel you can get from the, what was it called again? Saturn sports cars or whatever, won't fit either. So that's something else I need to make and fabricate. Um, that's it really, it's a little round up of that. Um, wow. This has gone for 20 minutes, so I do apologise, it's quite a long video. Um, hopefully I haven't been rambling too much, it actually made some sense. Any questions, give me a shout, and like I said before, if you want those calipers, um, we can sort something out. Um, just want to clear some space for really, to be honest, and get all this tidied up. Yeah, I uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you probably at the end of this week, um, when the car's got wheels and it's all rolling around and probably bumping into things. Catch you later and uh, hope you're all doing well. Bye.